So Rock Key recently sent us their PS16 uh, in-cylinder pressure transducer and after I watched one of their videos, they recommended that you should use a short solid connection as possible when taking the measurement rather than opting for the flexi hose. So what we're gonna do is take a comparison and just have a look at how different the two waveforms are. So let's just take a measurement with the flexi hose first and screw the sensor in there. So of course with the solid pipes, we're gonna be able to get that much, much lower down and they're not gonna be affected by the flex in that hose itself. So it'll be interesting to see the difference. Connect up the power supply and oscilloscope lead. Okay, so if you didn't see it already, we had a look at the sensor already and showed you how to set up this probe in PicoScope 7. So as we've already set it up, we can go to probes and Rocky PS16. So if you uh, want to do the quick version of getting this probe onto your PicoScope software, head over to mechanicmindset.com download the waveform from the free access area and when you open it in PicoScope 7 you'll be able to save the probe directly from that saved waveform. So if we hit start now we can see that that is down at zero bar and let's start up the engine. I'm going to go for 50 milliseconds per division. We'll start up the engine, get a capture and then put in the solid pipe. Hopefully the erratic engine running doesn't make too much of a problem for us. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply an auto trigger so we can capture the same point next time. Just put that about there. Okay, so we will save this waveform and create a reference and then set it up with the uh, solid pipe. So let's remove the connector and the sensor. Okay, so it's said to put in there as short as possible. So what I'm gonna do is just try this shorter extension. Put the uh, spark plug extension on there as well. And let's just see how that kind of, it, it does go in actually, and we might just struggle to get the um, connector on. So I'm going to have to screw it in with a, a 19 mil socket. I'm not going to go crazy, we just need to make sure it's got a seal. You can see it's right down there now, look. I can get that on there, but I don't, I'm not going to be able to screw it in. So let's just plug it on there and hopefully that will, will do it. So now you can see that sensor's kind of right down in there, okay? Okay, so let's make a reference waveform of the flexi hose waveform. We'll call it uh, flexi, and we'll make it a different color. We'll go for red, and there we are. There's our flexi hose reference waveform in red. What I'm gonna do now is start the engine and see how different this um, solid pipe is. Okay, here we go. Let's just wait for it to get to about the same engine speed as before. So here we go then. What we'll do then is overlay these two and see how much of a difference we've got. For the whole kind of compression of, of the waveform, I think we are about the same. It's, the solid pipe is showing a little bit higher, okay? Now we have got the engine speeds about the same, so we can see that the peaks are around about the same point. So that would make sense that we have possibly, possibly lost a little bit of compression in the longer, more flexible pipe. And um, the other interesting thing is to see here where we've got the exhaust event, okay? With the flexi hose, it's much, much more kind of wavy, much more kind of um, variation in it, whereas with the solid hose, it's, it's a bit more flat, so it's almost like there's, there's less give in it and it's possibly like pressure pulsations, okay? So that's quite interesting to see. However, it'd be good to know what you think between the two and how much that might affect your diagnostics. So let us know in the comments below. 
head over to mechanicmindset.com free access area to download your waveform so you can have a look in more detail for yourself.